the day has finally come. I uh, am equipped with all the parts. Thank you, Scooter West down in San Diego. My trusty Haynes manual. And uh, as you will see in a moment, a table full of tools. And what I'm about to do is go into my Vespa and remove the fork, change the upper steering bearings, inspect and possibly grease the lower bearings. I have another set just in case they are as bad as the top ones. And I also have to change the hub because um, uh, Wheel Sport in Orleans, the last time they serviced the bike, drilled a hub bolt crooked into the casting and it's kind of irreparable in my opinion so I ordered a new hub and since I'm looking at the hub I'm also going to be changing any bearings or shims or anything like that that needs replacing and again a big thanks to Scooter West who took the time to go through all those little parts and put them in a box for me and send them off to me here in Canada um, just so you know, the guys at Scooter West are really helpful, really fast. You, they can get you stuff the same day overnight, shipped to the border of Canada. Um, and they can even ship it to Canada, however it would take more than a day. Um, but in either case, they're really helpful. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them all in parts and service. So this is my first time doing this. And as I said in my blog, I hope everything goes well. It's going to be a figure it out as you go. Um, hoping not to break more parts on the way and that I will be just repairing what's broken. And that's that. So let's have a look at uh, my table of parts. Well, I guess I got my Beats little guy here. Um, this is very useful because I need to uh, listen to music to calm my nerves as I disassemble the Vespa. Um, I have the lower upper bearings, the bearings that goes into the new wheel hub. I got some back brakes, so I might as well do it while I'm touching the bike. Uh, bushings, bearings, little pieces, uh, cotter pins, pins, new bolts. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is, I guess it's a caliper bracket caliper bracket. So I have everything I need, I hope. And uh, then I put together some of the tools that I think I need. So when I'm finished, I will ascertain what tools I need to do the job and I will list them out at the beginning of the video or right now. So here's the tools that I needed at the end, but now. Okay, so I promised at the very beginning of this video these are the tools that were scattered all around and I put them back on the table and um, basically I this is what was used at one point or another and possibly you don't have to use everything and I got a couple of duplicates here depending on size anyway um, these things here 8, 10, 13, 17, 22, 24 millimeter plus a 17 long and a 1 inch for banging bearing things and then I have my three torque wrenches from very low to very high and of course this is funny this is what I used to pull I taped this to the back of the wheel as you remember and used it to pull the wheel hub out I have extenders um, that's a 17 and this is a 11 and I use two size ratchets. This is my tool for torquing the uh, The upper bearing and if we move over here um, This is a brake cleaner uh, we use for cleaning. This is the uh, bearing grease a, a good flashlight for seeing things I used uh, two flathead screwdrivers uh, for prying or banging out bearings and stuff. I used the Phillips and um, I used a collection of pliers, a hammer for banging out bearings 
and uh, the book for torque values and instructions. So, you know, that's basically what I used to uh, do this job. So, like, that's it. Okay, so I've jacked up the motorcycle. You can see I've just jacked it up here so that the front wheel is way off the ground because we're going to be taking that wheel off and I put a little block under there. So that's my first step. Okay, so um, I have this and it has to come off and the reason is is I got to get a screwdriver in here and yeah, you could probably do it. Um, but I don't want to wiggle around, so it's just as easy to take this off. This is an HW4, so I'm just going to loosen these, and then we'll remove it. My next step is going to take the wheel off. And remember, uh, this is the problem with the stud, which is why I have to change the whole... Uh, Okay, so this is out of the way. It's ready to come down once I take the brakes off. So I think what I'll do is I'll start focusing on the top. So there's a couple of things we have to do here. And we need a Phillips a Phillips screwdriver. So, um, we'll get one. What we're going to do here, and we'll come in a bit closer. There's two screws here. They're Phillips. But what we want to do is loosen them. Um, they hold the cables inside and uh, we're going to have to loosen that to get in so that we can lift this up. Okay, so the next step is, is to get under here and remove that screw. Um, so we're going to get in here and uh, remove that screw and I believe it's a Phillips. Um, like this, okay? And what I have is this little magnetic thing to get that screw out because once we start on doing it, it uh, doesn't want to come out very well. So, gonna... okay, so actually, this screwdriver works best. You just uh, gotta take your time to get into the Phillips and then we'll just undo it. Like that. So you just take your time and undo that screw. And there's two of them. One here and one here. Okay, so you see when it's free because the pop, top pops up. And I don't want to lose the screw, which is why I use magnets. And pull that screw out with the magnet. And the next one, two, with the magnet. Okay. Okay, this next part is a bit tricky. As you can see, this is loose on top. And what they say in the book is you push the bottom part in to release the top. And I found that very difficult. So, um, I basically get a plastic thing so as not to damage it so much. And then I basically, there's a little lip under there and you don't want to break it. There, you see this little lip? So you got to push that in to unclip it. And then we have this out. But you can't take it off, so don't pull it at this point. If you look inside, you can see right here is the speedometer cable. And it's got two things to squeeze and pull down. So you want to squeeze and pull down. Now if you can't do it with your fingers, 
do it carefully with a set of uh, pliers. Um, but you don't want to damage that. So you got to squeeze and pull down. There, so we just separated it from the top, and then we got to come around on the other side and release this. So let's have a look at what we have to release here. So what we need to do is release this, this clamp here, and there is on the other side a little release clip. With your hand, yeah. So what we want to do is we want to push this release clip right this here. We push in and then pull that out. Okay, so that's what releases that. And you can see it's released now. All I have to do is pull it out. So now that was the plug and that was the release, so I released it from here. So the last thing I need to do now is undo one, two, three, four screws um, and release this so that this piece comes completely off. Okay? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get our little magnet ready because you don't want to drop a screw down inside there because that's not going to be fun. So I'm going to undo the difficult one first. And there we go. Okay, so now what that does is it releases this and this whole cover comes off as you can see. Okay, so I'm just taking this off, okay, um, okay, so the next thing we got to do where a lot of people make a mistake is because we can kind of get in here and undo this bolt here and then you think, you would think that this whole handlebar comes off, but be very, very careful because you're going to break things if you do it that way. So number one is we're going to have to remove this brake. Um, just let it hang down, but we're going to have to undo that. But more importantly, I have on mine three screws. I believe they're supposed to be four, but somebody obviously broke one the first time round. And I know which dealer it is, but there's nothing much I can do about it. So I have three, which I believe you will have four screws into the plastic. So we want to remove this, which re releases this bottom part so it can maneuver freely when we take the handlebars off. And you'll see why once we get to that part. And again, this is where your magnetic grabber comes very handy. Okay, so we have those, and what that does is it releases this from the handlebar, okay? And this, when we take off, this won't rip off the bushing underneath. There's a plastic bushing, and that can be a problem. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to 
remove this here. So in order to do that, I am going to use, I believe, again, it's an HW4, I think. And just put the rag here so that it's not going to scratch everything. And it's going to move around in a bit when I take off the handlebars. But now is when I have access to that bolt here, which will undo, um, undo my handlebars. And that's the, the next big step to getting to the bearings. So really, i got to get this in here. And okay, so you need to be a bit of a contortionist or, or not. And um, you need to uh, be able to undo this. We're just going to undo that. There we go. And then we'll just undo this completely. And I thought the first time I did this that I could just um, loosen it, but no, it has to come out, trust me on that. So we're gonna just remove that. Be careful again not to lose the bolt, because uh, these things have a habit of disappearing into nowhere nowhere land and it makes it very difficult to get which is always why i like to have another magnet on it like this okay and now what we're going to do is just pull this bolt all the way out like this and now we're ready to remove the handlebars not so bad. Okay, so um, this gets a bit messy. Basically, we're just going to wiggle it off. And we're going to lift it up. Like that. Now, once it's off, that's why we wanted this brown thing free because we got to get this off and you got to wiggle it a bit like that and then we're going to somehow free this over very carefully not break anything so we get to our berry. And the problem is this little rubber thing here. But now we're kind of at our bearing. So let's have a look at it. We're just going to move this camera over. So we have, as I had a picture before, the broken dust cover, which I assume was a problem the last one and now we're going to use this tool that I got to undo the bearing which fits in to these grooves so it's got the grooves to fit in and this is how we're going to torque it. so we're going to undo it there we go and now we can undo this This thing comes out, and this is what's torquing the bearings. So we're gonna 
There we go, and we loosen it up, and that's that. So we'll take this off. And we can have a good look at the bearings. Um, there. And uh, I don't know how to get them out, so we'll figure that one out after. Okay, so want to drop and we don't want the fender to drop so first what we're going to do is remove the brake caliper and from here You have to release the uh, speedometer cable um, as well or that's going to stretch or be pulled uh, which probably isn't very good. So release the uh, speedometer cable and that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> 